home security camera in Overland Park, Kansas captured the home robbery of 21-year-old Katie O'Connor. Though this didn't occur while she was out, instead Katie was home and being held hostage while the robbery was taking place. Near the bottom left of the screen, you can see a man holding her in a headlock while another man and woman take her belongings, all while she can do nothing but watch. But more unsettling is how the three got in the house in the first place. As it turns out, the woman walking around the house, Cheyenne Watts, who was also taking part in the robbery, was up until that point what Katie would consider a good friend. They were friends for a while and would even schedule playdates for their children. And so, earlier this day, when Cheyenne went up to Katie's door, she was of course let in without question. But, completely unknown to Katie, this time she had brought two other men with her who all had the intent to hold her hostage in her own home as the three of them robbed her. Eventually, the man holding Katie in a headlock would notice a cord and assume it was for a camera somewhere in the home. Finally, the three locate the camera and point it away from them, but they fail to unplug it, which wouldn't really matter anyway because the whole thing was already being uploaded to the cloud in real time. However, because they didn't unplug it, you can hear them begin to turn on each other as they realize there's nothing they can now do to get rid of the footage, as again, all of it is already stored on an off-site hard drive. No. No, don't put this on the Finally, they unplug the camera, but of course, it's already too late. Still, the three proceed with the robbery, and in the end, they leave with a set of tools, a safe, and cash Katie had saved up for school and rent. Fortunately, Katie would end up getting out of the situation unharmed. Later, Cheyenne and one of the men would be found and arrested by police. However, the other man, the one that held Katie in a headlock, has yet to be found.